Cheers, everybody. Cheers. 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 Thanks for this wonderful feast, Bill. Yeah. yeah. It's a little bit of a weird feast, but... For bringing everything. Yeah, thank everybody. you for bringing all the delicious food. A lot of people ask me, how do you eat the Mediterranean diet? And today we're going to teach you step by step how to eat the healthiest diet in the world. The first thing I want to answer is what is the Mediterranean diet and why you would want to eat it. So the Mediterranean diet simply is the diet of all the countries and islands around and on the Mediterranean Sea. This includes countries like Egypt, uh, Morocco, Spain, France. Uh, the Middle Eastern countries, all of these countries, all of those foods are the Mediterranean diet. The reason that you would want to eat Mediterranean is because it's one of the healthiest diets in the world. The people in these countries have the highest longevity rates and they also have the lowest amounts of almost every type of disease you can imagine, including heart disease, cancer, diabetes, the list goes on and on and on. And this is why they live to be so old. And so today, we're going to go step by step and show you everything you need to know. And we have this amazing meal here and we're going to go food by food to show you how to eat Mediterranean. One of the foods that you don't see a lot of in the Mediterranean diet is processed foods and very specifically ultra processed foods. These are foods that are, oh, thank you. These are foods like this, foods that are very high in sugar, and fat and white flour and chemicals. So number one, when you're eating the Mediterranean diet is not to eat a lot of ultra processed foods. The next important thing about the Mediterranean diet is that it's a plant-based diet. Thank you. A plant-based diet means that the majority of the food comes from plants. Now this includes vegetables, fruits, beans, nuts, seeds, grains, these are all plant-based foods. It doesn't mean that there is no meat or chicken or fish or dairy. Uh, it does mean that the majority of what you eat comes from fruits, vegetables, beans, nuts, seeds, grains. The other thing that it means is that you're eating a fat that also comes from fruits and vegetables. Now olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, is actually a fruit-based oil. Olives are fruits. And in the Mediterranean diet, you eat lots and lots of extra virgin olive oil. So whenever you have some nice vegetables like this, this is a Greek salad, a traditional Greek salad, you're always going to put plenty of extra virgin olive oil on. And you wanna make sure that it is extra virgin olive oil. They eat about 40% of their calories from fat, and most of that is from olive oil. The next thing that makes a Mediterranean diet different from diets in other countries is that the main protein source in the Mediterranean diet are beans. And beans are very different than like in the United States, the main protein source is meat. And which includes of course chicken, but also red meat. And so the reason this is important is because beans are a plant-based food they're high in fiber. Uh, they're one of the reasons why they're so healthy. And so if you're eating a Mediterranean diet, you wanna increase the amount of beans you eat and probably decrease the amount of meat that you eat. They consider meat, chicken, and fish to be a condiment, which means that you, instead of eating like a big, huge piece of meat, like this Tuscan uh, bean soup with sausage has one pound of sausage in it but it serves like eight to 10 people. So it's only a few ounces of meat. Um, we also have like salmon dishes. Uh, they eat salmon, but not as much as you would think. They don't eat tons and tons of fish. With salmon, and this is actually a perfect dish to talk about omega-3 fatty acids as well. Salmon is a dish that is very high in omega-3s. And one of the other things about the Mediterranean diet is that they eat a lot of omega-3 foods, which is very good for your heart, for your brain, and other parts of your body. And with uh, omega-3s, you not only get it from salmon, but you also get it from walnuts that we have on here, as well as greens and flax oil, 
Um, there's lots of different ways to get omega-3s in the Mediterranean diet, and it is super good for you. The next important food that's eaten all over the Mediterranean are whole grains. Whole grain, oh, mm, that is not a whole grain. <laughs> Hold on a second. So a lot of people think that some foods that are whole grains are things like bread. And even 100% whole wheat bread is not actually a complete whole grain. Um, it is higher in whole grains. In the Mediterranean, they do eat a lot of bread, but a real whole grain would be something like this, which is a, a cabbage dish with farro. Now, farro is a complete whole grain. Other whole grains are things like oats, amaranth, uh, uh, millet. These are all whole grains or whole wheat, which are actually little berries. And so these type of foods are whole grains. They're um, really good for your digestive system. Uh, they're good for, again, decreasing risk of cancer, decreasing a lot of risk of other types of diseases. And believe it or not, they can be good for weight loss. It just has to be a whole grain. Also in the Mediterranean, they eat a lot of whole fat dairy. When I say a lot, like not tons and tons, but here, for example, is a dish from Greece, uh, loaded tzatziki. And this has Greek yogurt in it. Um, it is very high in probiotics, very good for your digestive system. And it has a lot of really good nutrients for your body. In the Mediterranean, they eat whole milk, whole fat cheeses, whole fat yogurt. It's actually gonna help you with weight loss, for example. It fills you up and makes it so that you eat less, less of it. And so whole fat dairy foods, again, not tons of it, but some. Thank you, sir. Another thing that in certain parts of the Mediterranean they drink a lot of is wine. Also beer and other types of alcohol. Now, again, it's only in certain parts of the Mediterranean. Uh, and in more Muslim countries, they don't drink at all. But in places like Greece and Spain and Italy, they drink a lot of wine. And wine, as well as other alcohol, can be good for you. Uh, it will increase your good, healthy cholesterol. It also, uh, red wine specifically, has certain components that are good for your heart. Now, if you don't drink alcohol, no problem. You can also drink grape juice. Red grape juice, you wanna make sure it's a good organic red grape juice. It has a lot of the same health benefits as red wine does. It increases your good cholesterol. And of course, you can drink more of it without any issues. One of the other things that people often ask me about with the Mediterranean diet is, what do you eat for dessert? Here, you'll uh, people think that in the Mediterranean, they eat like tons of baklava and flan and all the other delicious Mediterranean dishes that, or Mediterranean desserts that you can get there. But in reality, what you're actually eating a lot of is, uh, no, what you're actually eating a lot of is fruit. So in the Mediterranean, what they mostly eat for dessert is fruit. And usually it's just whole fruit. Sometimes it's fruit that's cut up and put into other desserts, but this is what is eaten on a daily basis. Sure, sometimes they'll have the baklava and the flan and the cannolis and things like that, but oftentimes that's more like a very special treat. So the last thing about eating the Mediterranean diet is to eat fruit for dessert. So that's it. That's all you need to know to eat the healthiest diet in the world. The thing to remember about the Mediterranean diet is that it's about celebrating your food. It's about eating with abundance, eating with community, and it's delicious so that it's super, super good for you. So if you are interested in any of the recipes that we've gone over today, you will uh, see them in the description box below. We have links to everything. And if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe in the description box below. And as they say in France, bon appetit.